Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Random Fishy. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize your boring old Windows desktop into something awesome like this. Before we jump into the video, please go to the link given in the description and download a zip file that contains all the files that we use here in this video. So make sure to download that before you continue watching this video. And if you're watching our videos for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, we're going to be using two softwares to customize our desktop. First of which is Rainmeter Custom Skins. And the other one is Winstep Nexus. You can either download it from their website or it is available in the zip file that you just downloaded. First, let's install Rainmeet. Double click and run the setup. And make sure to select standard installation. After that's done, we'll install the Nexus dock. For that, right click on the nexus.zip and select extract here. And double click and run the Nexus setup file. The two softwares required for this setup has now been installed. Now what is left is to customize it. Now come back to your desktop and right click on all the default rain meter skins and select the option unload skin. Now right click on your desktop and under the option view uncheck the option show desktop icons. This will hide all your desktop icons. Now let's add the widgets. For that come back to our folder and find the folder skins. Inside it, we have our two widgets that we are going to use. We have to copy the two folders and paste it inside the Rainmeter Skins folder. I have added a shortcut with the file itself where you can simply open it and paste the skins. As you can see here, we are inside the Rainmeter Skins folder by clicking on the shortcut. After that's done, let's go and change our wallpaper. The wallpapers I am using in this video is available in the folder you have downloaded. And if you want more wallpapers like this, go to wallpaperscraft.com. I'll leave the links in the description. Now let's configure our dock. For that, click on the Nexus icon to open the settings. Select the Advanced tab and click on the option Restore. The backup file for the Nexus dock is available in the folder you've downloaded from the description. Select the backup file from the Nexus backup folder and click Open. Click apply and close the settings. Don't worry about the missing icons. I have provided a folder with tons of icons from the zip file you downloaded from the description. Icons for all the major softwares are available in this folder. What you have to do is to copy that folder and paste it inside your C drive. After that's done, right click on an element on the dock and select dock entry properties. Make sure the icons folder inside the C drive has been detected and click OK. All the icons should show up automatically. You can add or remove programs of the dock according to your choice. You can add a program by simply dragging and dropping a program onto the dock. And to change the icon, simply right click and select dock entry properties and select the option change icon and click on browse and find the icons folder inside the C drive and if you can't find an icon according to your liking you can simply do a google search and download an icon from there after you selected your icon click ok your dock is now done now let's configure our widget for that click on the rain meter icon on the taskbar it will open up the rain meter control panel now for our widgets to show up, click on the refresh button on the bottom left side. Now to add the widgets, click on the Lano visualizer and select visualizer.ini and click on it and click the load button. Now let's load the Reto widget. Click on it and select time and date. And select time and date.ini and click on load. We have successfully loaded our two widgets. Now minimize the rain meter control panel and drag and drop our widgets to the center of the screen. 
After you have positioned it correctly, right click on the widget and under settings, make sure to uncheck the draggable option. Now let's hide our taskbar. For that, right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. And turn on automatically hide taskbar. Now uncheck the option lock the taskbar and drag and drop the taskbar to the left side of your screen. The setup is now complete. Now let's play some music and check if the visualizer works. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. This is Random Shashi signing off.